pomegranate. Why should you be having this? Very high in vitamin C, polyphenols, ellagic acid, and it also has some resveratrol in it. This is a little graph that shows pomegranate juice, blueberry juice, cranberry, green tea, and orange juice. And you can see that the polyphenol, this antioxidant content, it pretty much blows all the other juices away. And right now, if you watch the Food Channel or look in any magazines that have cooking or talk, man, pomegranate's the, the darling of the industry because it, it tastes good and all the science says it's amazing for you. It does wonderful things. So you can find it in all kinds of stuff. One of the reasons that it's so important is one of the things we call one of these miracle molecules, these miracle molecules like resveratrol and in this case, ellagic acid. Ellagic acid is in pomegranates. They also find it in apples and blueberries and walnuts. It's a very, very potent antioxidant. One of the things that it does is it helps stop mutation in a cell's DNA structure. This means that it helps prevent cancer from ever getting started. The other thing that it does is it causes cancer cells to die a normal death. Cancer cells are kind of unique in that they normally don't die. Well, I, I don't know if I can say normally because that's not normal. All the cells in your body live a certain time and they die. Your red blood cells live for 30 days. Within a three-month period of time, your entire blood system is replaced. No one in this room has anything on them right now, except, you know, if you've got some old clothes, that's older than 10. Everything in your body, your brain, your skeleton, your kidneys, everything's been completely replaced within a 10-year period of time because it grows, it, it dies, you get new. However, cancer cells don't die. They just keep replicating and you get a tumor because they just keep growing. That's the problem. This goes in and kind of makes the undead cancer cells die. 